Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities Morning Podcast. Now in today's podcast we will be discussing what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on uh, with the key levels for both the indices. Now we'll also be discussing on uh, key sectors and stocks that we should be focusing for the day and the next few trading session. Now in trade yesterday Nifty ended the day marginally down 0.35% while bank nifty underperformed as it experienced the brunt of the selling pressure losing 0.98% for the session coming to the macro factors dollar index has witnessed a minor rebound from 100.8 to 102 levels in the past few sessions along with a bounce in us 10 year bond yields from 3.79 to 3.94 Till now this move can be considered as a rebound from oversold levels however 102.5 and 4.2 would be a crucial trigger levels for the dollar index and the US 10 year bond deals above which one needs to get a bit cautious from an equity market perspective. Uh, Brent uh, crude remains uh, subdued below $77 a barrel and that's positive from an Indian market context. A quick check on the global markets while the S&P 500 has generally been on an upward trend Uh, until the prior week. Yesterday the index witnessed a consolidation at higher levels and we expect it to continue for a few more sessions. Uh, Indices could consolidate and move higher towards the range of uh, 4850-4880 with the 4670 zone expected to act as a support. Uh, Coming back to Nifty, uh, 21530-21550 zone would act as an important support until it holds the indices could rebound up to 21,730-21,750. Below the levels of 21,530 index could test 21,430-21,330 levels. Coming to the weekly OI data, significant call writing is witnessed in 21,650 and 21,700 strikes while on the put front 21,650-21,600 witnessed considerable open interest addition. Overall range for the index could be 21,530 on the downside and 21,800 on the upside. Uh, coming to Bank, bank Nifty, uh, going forward the zone of 47,420-47,500 is likely to act as a support while on the upside resistance is seen closer towards 48,000-48,100. In case 47,420 breaks, index can retest its next support placed at 47,000 levels. Even if we see the OI data that is for today's expiry, a significant open interest is witnessed in 47,900 and 47,800 calls and on the put side it is seen in 47,600 and 47,500 puts. Uh, implying a near term range of 47,420 and uh, on the downside and 48,100 on the upside for the banking index. Uh, Stocks and sectors in momentum, Uh, Nifty Pharma was the best performing sectorial index for the day, up 2.46%. Stocks such as DV's Lab, Dr. Reddy, Glenmark, Abbott, Sun Pharma, Cipla, Alcam Laboratories saw heavy buying yesterday. Uh, FMCG names such as ITC and Tata Consumer uh, experienced strong buying in trade yesterday with positive traction seen in these charts. Uh, from the broader market, bullish setup was observed in ACC, Metropolis, ONGC, Voltas, AC, uh, BPL, uh, uh, Equitas Bank, IFL Securities, IMFA, IRCON, IRFC, Jindal Steel, uh, Nocil, OFS, uh, Red Tape, SCI, Zomato, and Coal India. Uh, coming to the FIDI data, in the cash segment, FI is bought to the tune of 1,602 crores while DI is sold to the tune of 1,959 crores. FI long short ratio for index futures marginally decreased to 68% as they sold about 1,892 index future long positions. On the stock futures front, FIs have bought to the tune of 2,279 contracts, while on the options front, FIs sold 40,765 call contracts and bought 28,972 put option contracts. So friends, that's all for today. Thank you for regularly listening to our podcast and wishing you all an energetic day ahead. Uh, Do tune in tomorrow for more market updates and insights. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.